hey guys welcome back to the channel in this video i'll be building a modified antenna uh, system for the rft module and in this video uh, i'll be showing you how i assemble the component together with some 3d printed parts involved so before you watch this video to the end make sure you like and subscribe and thank you for watching um the setup is complete and almost yeah because i need to solder this cable connector to the power uh, cable for the amplifier so as have a um, lipo battery to power the amplifier and what i've done at the back here is to use some zip tie to secure the cable in place and also the rft module uh, cable also so secure with zip tie and uh, from this design i Built the uh, mounting um, area to fit a 25 millimeter PVC or any aluminum pipe that you, if you want to build something like this, that you can find around. So that's uh, basically it for the design. It's uh, modular, and I've got some vents here so as to cool off the amplifier and also enough air for you to cool off the um, RFP module as well. All right, um, guys, in order to um, test out the um, antenna upgrade, I'm going to be restoring this um, aircraft, which I have built and abandoned for quite a while. And uh, as you can see, it has accumulated a lot of dust. That I've been, I'm trying to restore some of the missing parts. And also for the bottom two, some patches are being done, the repairs. So I'm going to be painting it after everything is done. And I'm going to make sure um, everything is still working perfectly and then put the electronics and then we can go ahead and test out the, um, the antenna. Alright, so now that we're airborne aircraft is in loiter mode, uh, I decided to switch to guided to start going for the range test. And shortly at a short distance, I lose uh, 
connection for about three seconds. As you can see, the ISSI is showing 42% while I'm just less than 600 meters away from home. So all I had to do was return the aircraft back and then do the landing. Alright, so as for the um, amplified antenna, um, from my last flight, I had some issues and then um, it didn't work out as I expected it to because uh, it turns out that this amplifier doesn't work with the um, Kalimuchi Mudu antenna which I connected to the Yagi antenna here. So uh, it's only recently that I found out that this amplifier is for a unidirectional antenna which um, I didn't know initially so I was getting a very 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 poor range um, with, with it uh, while it was working and while I was flying the model in the air so um, the other test I will be doing now is without the amplifier so I would like to see uh, what the range is like and what the signal strength is like depending on how far I can travel because uh, I am very limited with the battery capacity that I'm using to fly I'm flying with a um, 4S lithium ion 10,000 um, milliamp battery capacity. So I'll be flying with this antenna without the um, without the amplifier on board to see how will be while connecting the <coughs> excuse me while connecting the antenna directly to the Yagi antenna. So in the near future, I'll be getting an amplifier that is suited for a excuse me that is suited for a bidirectional antenna and see if there's a difference in in its work and see if I get any any better range all right so i've done quite some upgrades since the last flights for example i had an issue with it's very, not really an upgrade for the gps mode but i had an issue with the previous gps uh, i decided to change it uh, with uh, this uplux uh, gps mode which works fine and also i've decided to add a um, opening latch for the uh, front cover and i will still remain um i will still continue to use this tape to secure this uh, in place just for just for the flight and also i've upgraded the motor from a 3538 uh, 800 kv motor and i've decided to install a 790 kv i really can't remember what the size of this motor is but it's definitely bigger than the last uh, this is a 3545 um 3548 size motor spinning 12 by 6 inch prop uh, the last motor was spinning 10 by 7 inch prop so i expect this motor to generate uh, more thrust and it should be more efficient for for the flight Now that we're airborne for another flight without the amplifier and I've switched to guided here to begin the range test and you can clearly notice that the RSSI is clearly good. So just sit back and enjoy this uh, little time lapse.
and this is the point where we hit uh 10 kilometer range plus uh it would have gone further but you know the battery capacity is not designed to go that that far and also you guys should just note that the antenna is only about less than six feet above uh where i was um where i took off from so a probably get a much much um signal strength if the antenna was a couple of feet more higher Come on, I'm going